Okay. You're welcome. Hi, here's another Costco haul. So we already had to break into these. These fruit snacks that I try not to give them often, but tis the season. So instead of candy, they're having some of these. So we have fruit snacks, these Amy soups, an eight pack. Um, it's low in sodium lentil vegetable and then lentil. And I'm the only one that will eat these, but I love soup this time of year. So I got an eight pack of that. Cheese pizza is so good. It's even better than the pepperoni, which the pepperoni is fantastic. First of all, it's loaded with pepperoni. So I'm gonna put that in the garage. These cage-free eggs, we've been getting these. These are really, really good. That goes in the garage as well. Um, another pumpkin pie, because they are delicious. And I've been wanting this book let me get closer. The Night Before Christmas by Mary Inglebright. Now, she's a local artist um, and illustrator. And I don't, so I don't know if these would be like in, let me know if you see these in your Costco. I get a Christmas book every year to add to the stack that I read to the kids. And so this is the Christmas book I got for this year. So good, and my kids eat these with ranch like crazy. These Hershey Simple Syrups for chocolate milk. Get the three pack of the organic milk, and I'll put one in the garage. Well, I'll put them all in the garage except for one to keep in the fridge up here. Huge box of Sun Chips. And then these organic half and halves. We always get this, I'll put one in the garage. One in this fridge. Frozen chicken breast. I always get these. They're individually wrapped and they're great. Double A batteries. Usually get my batteries at Costco. Got a big package of the Little Smokies. These are actually the beef, but the kids like these so much in their school lunch. I got a big package and I also got a two pack of barbecue sauce. So that'll be good for them for their thermos for lunch. Also got these garlic, roasted garlic. Uh, kielbasas. I thought that would be really good with beans and rice or um, a pasta. Three pack of the sausage links. I make this, I make a whole package basically like every morning uh, with breakfast. Mateo salsa. We went through almost this whole jar on just Thanksgiving day. It is so good. It's so good on eggs and on chips. So we forgot to get tortilla chips. Yeah, this is a sample, this Korean barbecue. It's uh, fire grilled pork jerky. It is really good and it's not too chewy, like hard to chew. So we got these for our older kids and they're good. They're really tasty. A big thing of the Kleenex because it's that time again. So just stocked up on that. And speaking of which, we always get our selecticized paper towels from them. The Kirkland, I like this. It, they work great. Um, avocados. Now from our, we went to Costco already um, and I didn't do a haul the last time, but the kids have been loving this. And then we just buy a bag of the small marshmallows, the mini marshmallows to put in it, but this is great and they sell it there. We also got a couple fun Thing. I love this movie, The Seven Samurai by Akira Kurosawa. We got this, uh, $20. This is an excellent movie. If you haven't seen this, I highly suggest it. Also, actually watching right now, we have the other Christmas classics set that we got years ago at Costco, but we got this classic Christmas favorites. Um, it was... $17. And then we also got this huge dog bed that's really nice. And I was actually going to get like this type or this of a throw blanket and matching pillows for the couch for winter. But the only ones that I've seen have been really expensive. So if you see any deals on this sort of like a fake um, fur throws and matching pillows, let me know. It has the ability to take the cover off and wash it. It's huge, it is so comfortable, it's like chenille on this side, and it was 
$25, which I think is a great deal. Both puppies like take up this much room of it. So it's perfect for both of them for right now. Okay, now I'm in the garage for the top secret. Two of these will be waiting in front of the Christmas tree with a bow on it. Aren't those cute tricycles? And I almost forgot this find. This luxury spa bath rug. First of all, it's huge. Second of all, it's so thick that I kept thinking it was like two rugs together. I mean, look, it's like my whole, like to my first knuckle in thickness. Anyway, it's, it's great. So instead of my kids, I'm going to take that back. Um, <clears throat> I'm washing their rugs right now, but this will be their big, new, and improved, and the color matches better, um, bath rug. So, I mean, I just cannot believe the thickness. I mean, look at this. And of course, this is the one I'm going to get. <sighs> Take good care of my kids. That's what you're supposed to do. Like $9. Not even kidding. Look at how big it is. Get one. I don't know if you see any of those throws or pillows online for a good price. I just say it went. I need to put Lauren lipstick back on. But um, because I'm looking for those. And I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching my Costco haul. Bye right now is having a 50% off sale for the Christmas um, decor. This wreath for the front door, isn't this pretty? And then we got these swags to go on the um, columns. Aren't those pretty that match? I also got some frames for these teacher's presents that I ordered and at Hallmark. I got the keepsake ornament for this year, the mini. Oh, isn't that cute? And it says Christmas carols. It's so small on the book, but I'll put that with the others. 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016. So cute. I'm going to try to make this recipe, which normally takes like two days, and I am going to try to just braise it and do it. So this is what I'm going to do. Follow along. I have to um, go pick up a couple of my kids from school in just a minute, so I'm going to try to get this going. So first I'm going to put, um, you know, cooking spray in the pan, of course from Costco, and then I am going to take beef stew meat this Angus stew meat, and I am going to brown it in here. Okay. Now, I love to have some sort of a cooking, you know, pan top that you can move from the stove top to the oven. That's what's really going to be able to make this because I'm going to use the same top, um, pot that I'm browning this in to braise it in the oven. So while these are, while the stew meat is browning, just to kind of seal it off and give it more flavor, I'm going to get the uh, rest of the, rest of the stuff that goes in it ready. Like I said, I have to hurry. Oh my God, my eyes are watering so badly, I can't even see right now. Okay, hold on, buddies. Everywhere, I swear that was the strongest onion. Oof! Like I couldn't see for a while. Don't you hate that? Of uh, Cote d'Aron. Now I um, got this from. Uh, it's the Kirkland brand. It's from Costco. So got the onion. Got the um, orange. And I cut these large because these are just going to simmer with it, and then I'm going to take them out. I need to cut up some of this. Um, I've got these. I wash those have the olives, and I'm um, going to get the tomato paste. I have the meat, you know, fairly brown. It's just browning. I mean, you're not cooking it. You're just kind of sealing the juices in. Now, I have my oven preheated to 350 already. 
pepper, salt. Now I'm going to add the wine. Not all of it. I'm going to add carrots, can of tomato paste. An entire can of black olives, pitted, garlic, entire white onion. I'm going to add some water and st well, maybe a little bit more wine. Okay, and then water. Okay, so now you can see the level of the liquid is only like half, half up. Oh God, this looks so gross right now. I'll show you in about an hour what it looks like. Okay, so this is kind of a weird video because it's just like a bunch of food and cooking, but this uh, roast, which is so, do you love it? It's good. I'm going to heat it up leftover uh, mac and cheese, and then I did green beans with olive oil and salt and pepper. I just got done vacuuming and made their beds. And I'll do their bedding tomorrow. They have duvets. Uh, these are duvet covers. And so it's just a little bit more involved um, putting it all back together. But anyway, um, we still have to paint their bedroom. And I'm still, they still want green. And so, and figure out, you know, good places to hang these besides just where there were nails on the wall and, and hang their birds. So anyway, um, I did hang this over here because there was a nail there. I think I showed you that already. Anyway, so their room is, I put that together so that will help and I thought it looked good with these baskets. Um, they just have stuffed animals and books in their bedroom. That's all we keep in here. And I have this here, which is kind of nice because um, through the doorway, kind of gives a little privacy there. It's just the way that it had to be set up given the layout of the room. Um, it, it's the best use of space, oddly. Anyway, and it gives a nice view out the window, which is always good. Okay, the day is going by quickly. This is my desk area, I'm changing things around. Um, these, I know, look odd, and I'm still looking on a paint color because what I plan on doing is I have two floating shelves that I'm actually going to put here once I fill the holes and um, paint the wall with my vintage camera collection, and look at this Sensi that I got. So this is what my little desk looks like. It's just at the top of the, of the stairs, and I really like it. Um, I'm going to put a... a magnetic board here and then like I said my camera collection and I don't know we'll see how it evolves but I got this desk from Ikea and the desk pad and the lamp and this is actually a nightstand but it's perfect for um, my printer st to use as a printer stand and then I have printer paper in there and you know extra file folders and things in there so it just worked out great and I love this chair I got this from Ikea as well.